to be regal. Well, a day like this deserves a toast. Let's go pour out some toast rosé and celebrate this. <laughs> the Tickles Tropic for another episode of Off the Rocks. I am your host with the most about to make a toast, Ricky Tickles. On the show today, non-alcoholic sparkling rosé. Summer is here. Rosé is here. You don't just gotta be in a jacuzzi anymore to drink this. A little bit about toast. They are the brand that had the courage to say your sparkling water sucks. Fruit juice is terrible. So they met us in the middle and made a rosé. As we open up this bottle and pour it into our flute, let me tell you what's in it. It has a white tea base. There's a little bit of ginger, elderberry in it, and there's some other kind of fruity flavors that are gonna give it that dry, delicate, palate type tasting. I should also mention that it's it's not too sweet. It's a rosé, but it's not meant to be too sweet. And you can see that little bit of carbonation come right off the top. That's spin got it a little. Let's fill up this flute and see, is this toast worthy? <laughs> Ted Lasso would love this. Cheers, right off the flute. If Shirley Temples and Ginger Ales went on a serious diet and then backpacked through like this fruity field, grab some berries, that's what this would be. The aesthetic of this is south of France, perfect dive into some beautiful Mediterranean sea. Did someone say Beveragino? 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 I'm a millennial, millennial. This has given me the courage to, to say some truth. At weddings, can we stop starting all of the speeches from men saying the beautiful bride? Let's maybe go with intelligent, sophisticated, courageous, strong, independent, hardworking, visionary, artistic, any other adjective except beautiful. Oh, it's a beautiful bride. Of course she's a beautiful bride. Guess what? She's way more than her looks. Get it through the head, gentlemen. Sick of it. This episode wouldn't be complete without asking the team from Toast to come say a few words. Here's a message from the team at Toast. Toast is excited to be on the menu at the Tickles Tropic, and we're offering all viewers Off The Rocks a special discount. Use code OFFTHEROCKS15 for 15% off your online order via our website, toastbeverages.com. I love when brands are willing to do that. It's, you know, one of the requirements of being on season three. And again, these are totally commission-free, unaffiliated links. I get no kickback from it. Support these small businesses. Support this little category revolution happening. And let me know if you like it or not. It is that time of the show. Ricky Tickles, if you don't drink, are you expected or allowed to give less as a wedding present since you're only there eating and not drinking? Monica, you cheap as hell. <laughs> But that is probably one of the best questions I've ever been asked. It's kind of true, like you go to these weddings and it's an open bar. You're there just eating the quinoa, maybe the salmon, maybe some of the roasted bell peppers, and some of the cookies, 70 of the cookies. That's where you're making your dent. You're not drinking the 75 gin and tonics or martinis or bride and groom specialty drinks. So obviously you cost them less. Is that reason to give less? No. Little short story, I'm Italian. I have family members that will go to a wedding with the envelope not sealed, and if they don't like it, they'll take money out before they actually leave it in the basket. It is cheap as hell. It is hilarious. If you're not drinking, just give it a hundred dollars. You know, don't, don't go above and beyond. I'm going to be a work in progress on that answer. Just think it through when I go to the next couple weddings. We are now serving Toast Rosé. Excited for them. I know they're currently doing this really cool fundraise on republic.com. It's like equity crowdfunding. Put that in the link on YouTube. Thanks for coming down to the tropics. I will offer you my hand. Lead me to the dance floor. I don't want no ice. 